It's time once again to continue our Star Trek journey today, The Next Generation, Season 2, Episode 19. Alex, Season 2, Episode 19 of Star Trek, the original series, was a private little war. <laughs> was Bone shot? Isn't that crazy? That's my favorite episode of, uh, what was it, season two, right? Yeah. Yeah, season two. I say it's my favorite episode, I forget what season it is. Isn't that great? <laughs> We're in orbit around Antd3, awaiting the arrival of two dignitaries. Our mission is to escort them to a conference. Whoa! Where they will be given the opportunity to join the Federation. I thought you might find this interesting, Mr. Crusher. Few humans have seen an Antedian in the flesh. You wore that during one of the season one episodes, right? With, yeah. Uh, Troy's mom, maybe? What are these? Welcome. I'm Jean-Luc Picard, captain of the Enterprise. Whoa! <laughs> are they all right, sir? Yes, this Die. is their preferred way of space travel. It is a self-induced catatonic state. Their way of dealing with the trauma of space flight. What's in that container? Oh. Vermicula. It's their food. When they come out of stasis, they'll be very hungry. Oh, yeah, Wesley, you can have some. Uh, help yourself. They eat this? In great quantities. Doesn't trust them. What a handsome race. <laughs> oh, I love it. Captain, we're being hailed by a small transport vessel just coming into range. Oh, my God. What's the problem? What's she doing here? Enterprise, I have a VIP passenger who I'm ordered oh, to... Oh, let me talk to the... Ah! <laughs> hey! She is listed as representing the Beta Z government at the conference. Mother, please, don't do this to me. Shot, Luke. What naughty thoughts. But how wonderful you still think of me like that. <laughs> there you go. She's back. She's back. Kind of love the recurring guest character. Oh, I love it. And like not a villain either, just like a, you know, yeah. a guest character of some kind. Mm -hmm. Don't get a ton of those thus far. I will never completely trust this device, John Luke. Captain Picard, mother. Uh, That's a fair reaction. My valet is waiting. You may beam him aboard now. Yeah! What? This is Troy. Since this is obviously significant to you, I don't... They did this last time, didn't they? <laughs> yeah. He has nice legs too, little one. Is he still yours? Humans no longer own each other that way, Mother. Really? <laughs> well, uh, Riker literally had sex with another woman in the last episode, so... Wouldn't it be crazy if uh, Troy's mother just revealed that to her? <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm sure she knows. She knows what's on your mind, and she lets you know what's on hers. <laughs> Gentlemen. Yeah, maybe not the best space to gossip right in front of the... <laughs> Status of the beings is unchanged. Respiration, normal for them. Understood. Keep me informed. There's a loophole, they're just gonna continue standing there because those fuckers can't walk around with <laughs> yeah. those masks. <laughs> to which dinner was the captain referring, sir? Nothing I've been invited to. Any of you? No, I remember last time they had dinner with Troy's mother. Oh god, what a disaster. <laughs> Ting! Doctor, you're not attending the dinner with the rest of us this evening? Well, I've already eaten, but thanks, Captain. The car got rizzed up. There is no special delegates dinner or whatever. Oh. Hello, Jean-Luc. So glad you could come. <laughs> <laughs> Troy's mom is just gonna take it for himself. Yeah, it worked. A toast to Earthmen, who despite their many faults, have that unique ability to charm women of all races. And there's nothing wrong with it if he's into it. Yeah. But is he into it? I don't know. It's true. I know what you're thinking, Captain. You do? <laughs> yeah, she does. <laughs> <laughs> At all times. I wonder what's made me lose my appetite. Any ideas? Oh my god, he, he brought it. Commander Data, why don't you join us for dessert? What? Indeed, sir. <laughs> so, 
By using the square root of pi and multiplying it by nine. Well, I guess he's not into it. Ugh, awkward. In the Omicron system and the Crab Nebula. Oh, oh, fascinating data. It's hilarious because you know every other time he's like, data enough. <laughs> Why would you come aboard at a time like this? Well, I had no choice. I was going to Pacifica, you were going to Pacifica. <laughs> I mean, that guy in real life has to have the biggest tolerance. Oh, for sure. It probably wasn't even in the script. <laughs> and I'd say your captain has the inside track. Mother, don't even think it. Why not? He was thinking about it all through dinner. So like, is she really just lying about all of it? I was what? <laughs> that counts, Liam. So it's, it appears you had some thoughts. My mother is beginning a physiological phase. It's one that all Betazoid women must deal with as they enter midlife. Is it something Troy warned me about when we first started to see each other? A Betazoid woman, when she goes through this phase... Let me mansplain it for you. <laughs> ...quadruples her sex drive. Or more. Never told me that. I didn't want to frighten you. She has opted for the... That grin. It seems, Captain, that you are the early favorite. Congratulations, sir. <laughs> Setting, San Francisco, California, United States of America. Yeah! <laughs> what? The office of Dixon Hill. <laughs> Let's just throw in a Dixon Hill here halfway through this. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> what, a, what a random twist. I mean, I'm in for it, but it's oh like, wow. Oh my God. Madeline, good to see you again. You too much, Dix. You make it sound like you ain't seen me in a year. <laughs> now I gotta go back and see if it's the same woman. The moolah, Dix, the rent. And since we're on the subject, it's been a month since I've seen anything. We really loaded him into a harsh scenario here. Really odd though, like, oh, like plenty of cases for you to do. No, nope, we got no cases. By the way, I need some money for my rent. There's a gentleman here to see you, Mr. Hill. Hill, the name is Slade oh. Bender. Oh, ha ha, you blabbed, Quaid. You blabbed about recall. What are you here to do? Ask for a refund? Nah, I'm here to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> He's probably scared after last time. Yeah, he every right to be. Do you wish to leave the holodeck and re-enter or continue from this point? No, I will continue. It's funny to hear Major Barrett's voice, Loxana, and the computer. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> same episode. Now, I came here on serious business. There's a job I want you to do for me. Computer, freeze program. Clear. Just can't catch a break. You may continue. Thank you. You're true ducking me, Hill! <laughs> it just gets even worse. Just exit, dude. Even in this state, they possess a certain... Dignity, graceful countenance. If you say so, Lieutenant. Is this how you felt when you first saw me? Well, maybe at first a little. But now that I've seen more Klingons, I've come to think you're you're handsome for a Klingon. That didn't quite come out the way I meant, sir. <laughs> I mean, he's not these guys. Come on now. I still oh. say they look better in sauce. <laughs> they look better in sauce. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> One day you'll grow up to be a big, strong man. But I'm afraid I cannot afford to wait for you to mature. Now that's more like it. Your thoughts, they're primal, savage. I like that in a man. I am not a man. Well, who's next, Mr. Holm? Ah, yes. Jordy. <laughs> the Second World War, although disastrous did end with the united states cultural influence in the second half of the 20th century <laughs> the card stick to the gimmick bro can't work come on what's this the usual uh -huh. uh, yes now let me see that would be uh scotch neat what else i wonder how many actors are like oh my god i got cast in star trek i can't believe it and they show up to the set like what the hell is this <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> you can't just stroll onto the bridge whenever you feel like it I didn't just stroll on, dear. I took that turbo tube or whatever you call it. <laughs> oh, boy. Mother, not him. And why not him? He's adorable. The Antedians are coming around. How long until they're fully conscious? I guess it to be a matter of hours now. Oh, I need to know his name. Chad. 
All right. We'll call him Chad until he gets a name. <laughs> Someone will tell us. Yeah. You are all invited to a prestigious occasion on the planet Pacifica. No. Your Commander Riker and I will be joined in the union of matrimony. Until death us do part. Until death us do part. <laughs> See, he's like, oh, really? We're getting married? Somebody needs to set her straight. I think I'll leave that to the captain. Oh. Her worst nightmare. If only you knew what happened just a, a week or two ago. <laughs> Coward. Are you planning on going into the holodeck? I thought I might. Would you like to join me? Could you postpone our departure for just five minutes, sir? <laughs> Gotta get dressed. Oh! oh. <laughs> I like that Riker just didn't get dressed. <laughs> <laughs> These are my associates. This is, uh... Nails from Chicago, and this is uh, Carlos. <laughs> <laughs> My fiance just has to see how I look in this. Come along, Hom. Well, just marry Hom. He seems like a good guy. Seems loyal. Computer, uh, is Commander Riker still on the bridge? Negative. Riker is currently in holodeck three. She's talking to herself. That's pretty meta. I like that they didn't try to, you know, get another voice for just this one episode, and then it would have sounded weird. Mm -hmm. Oh, shit. <laughs> You've been making your true feelings quite clear, obviously. You feel unable to handle me. Yeah, well, I guess he got out of it. You are a very interesting person. You're not so bad yourself. I get no thoughts from him at all, nothing. <laughs> uh... And I never realized how erotic that could be. How to beat a Betazoid AI. <laughs> Carry my beverage to that table. We have some things to discuss. I mean, we know I like, can get shot depending on like how messed up the computer can be. So can you have sex? I don't see why not. Should we tell her? I think it would be only fair. But let's allow her the moment. Oh God, they're doing stuff. Oh. 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 Velasquez to Captain Picard. Our passengers are on their feet. Tell William that I'm sorry, but Rex and I are getting married. But can you get legally married to the holodeck? <laughs> Duty calls, darling, but I'll be back for you later. Mrs. Troy, there is something you ought to know about Rex. Oh, God. Why are they still here? We thought since you were going to the same conference, you might like to beam down with the other delegates. Oh, they're not delegates. Those two are assassins. <laughs> Her robes are lined with ultratium, highly explosive, virtually undetectable by your transporter. She's correct, sir. They were planning on blowing up the entire conference. Mr. Wolf, take them to level five. Disarm them. Hold them for questioning. Aye, sir. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, they just blew up right there because yeah, they got found out. Yeah, it's like, oh, all right, oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but so they're just like, well, guess that's oh, it. Jig is up. Energize, Chief O'Brien. I like how she was scrunching her face for a second there. Jaluk, shame on you for thinking such a thing. Every time. <laughs> This episode was kind of a lot of what we were like begging for for these kind of episodes early on in the show when you know they would be in the holodeck or something's going on and then they would like add these high stakes on top of it and we're like we don't need the high stakes we don't need the, the ship blowing up just give us that yeah and that's what this episode gave us i mean there was no high stakes i mean little did we know there's these two assassins on board but they weren't <laughs> ever threatening the enterprise you know and uh it was just a Waxana Troy episode and then it turned into a Dixon Hill episode like 20 minutes in and I'm like oh okay and it just it was just a nice fun episode yeah it felt like it turned into a Dixon Hill episode with 20 minutes left it's like, <laughs> yeah and it's like and it's going like the slow route too like trying to figure out this whole thing with down at Rex's bar I'm like is this is this fucking happening I feel like the episode's about to end here what do we like this is a, definitely one of those very odd episodes but yeah you're right exactly what we wanted just like uh, it was a holodeck episode, but it was introduced like super late. Mm -hmm. But but once again, just the crew having fun and a couple issues or two callbacks, you know. Uh, it's weird to have that that in the same episode, Dixon Hill and Major Bear, two previous yeah. characters 
brought in for this one to make an episode. So weird. And great face makeup as well with the uh, Antedians. Yes, for sure. But yeah, they had a list, checklist of what to fit in the season. They were getting towards the end. They're like, all right. Troy's mom and Dixon Hill, they got to go on the same episode. We can't, we can't dedicate. We don't have time. We got to get this done. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That those, uh, fish creatures, just an, a great small addition. I love that they didn't do like anything the whole episode. They were just there until towards the end and had like the one scene of eating the fish and then they end up being assassins. Like, you know, it's like, that's great. Yeah. I, I thought for sure there's going to be like, oh, here's a cool species. They're not going to do anything, but it's like. We put some effort into these costumes or whatever. Look how cool it is. So I'm glad there was a story at the end. Even if it was just like, oh yeah, they're assassins. What? Yeah. And yeah, this episode isn't going to be the, uh, you know, blow you away. You know, if you're telling someone why you love Star Trek, you say this episode. You know, it's not going to be that. But, you know, in its 180 episode run, if there's, you know, 10% of those are episodes like this, that's great. Like when you already love the show, mm -hmm. it's really fun to watch these ones. So I had a good time with it. Yeah, me too. All right, well, we're going to have a full discussion about it. If you want to check that out once it's available, it'll be right here for you to click. If it's not there yet, make sure to subscribe so you can watch all of Star Trek along with us.